How do you attach complicated records and records not from FamilySearch? This is a quick comprehensive video on attaching records to FamilySearch. Hello, welcome to Give, genealogy instructional videos for everyone. In this video, I will show you four ways to attach records onto FamilySearch. I'll also show you how to attach records not from FamilySearch. But anyways, let's get started. The first way is using the research help hint. Right now it shows that I have five. You could show all if you want to, but I'm just going to click on the first one for now, and then do review and attach. On this step, the column on the right is from your family tree, and on the left is from the record that you're trying to attach. You're also just making sure on this step that each of the names match properly, and in this case it looks like everything's good. I'm going to now thoroughly mess everything up. <laughs> just for educational purposes. Well, switchy switchy. <laughs> it looks like uh, the information isn't matching very well anymore. But let's see, maybe Lois is a daughter. All you'd have to do is click add and then she'd be part of the family tree. However, Asa and Harvey are not the same person. Maybe Margaret had another spouse named Asa. Let's just check that out real quick. Doesn't look like she did in the tree. You could click none of the above, then Adam as a spouse. However, I know this is not the correct family, so I'm not going to do that. Let's see. Maybe Lois is actually Asa's sibling, so to add Lois as a sibling, we'll need Asa to be the focus person. So let's go to Change, then select Asa. Now everything in the tree here is based off of Asa, so the parents and siblings are too. So let's just go down to Siblings. And then drag and drop Lois down there. So now we could add her as a sibling. However, I know it's not correct, but maybe for whatever reason, she's the mother. <laughs> so let's uh, just open that up and then drag and drop Lois up there. But as you probably know too, this is, this is not the right family at all. Let's go back to Margaret and let's get the proper family on the right. Let's see if she's already in there. Looks like she isn't, so we'll need to get her family search ID. Let's just left click. And let's paste that in. Now everything is looking good, so we could just compare and attach these records. To attach the source, click compare. Then you'll notice the tags and the add source to source box at the bottom. I'll show you how to use these later in the video. It doesn't really apply much to this record. If you need to provide a reason to attach source, you do it here. I usually only do that if there was something weird going on in the record. Anyways, let's just click attach. Then you'll do the same for the other two in this record. But otherwise, I think we're good to move on. The second way to attach records are for those you find on Family Search. To search Margaret, just click Family Search here. It put in her information, but it has her maiden name. So let's put in her married name. This find a grave record applies to her. So it's attached to family tree. I reviewed the image and was able to prove that this is the correct record for Margaret. It looks like on the tree we don't have her death or burial information. So let's replace and add that. Then this stuff was the same as before. Let's just attach this record. Then we're ready to move on. The third way is attaching sources not from family search. To do that, just click on Sources, then click on Add Source, and the first two are actually the same. If you click on the first one, you can see that the second one is actually just the Add a Memory as the default instead, but we'll just need to gather all this information manually. I have an obituary from newspapers.com that I wanted to add, so let's just get the title, add that here, you get the date and citation in one step maybe. Family search gets it automatically. Just put in the citation. And I don't want to type all this, so let's just uh, get the OCR and put that in. And I guess we need the URL still, so let's get that. Could provide a reason. You have to actually add the tags manually, so this one has the name, the sex, the birth, 
death and burial information. You want this added to your source box as well. Now let's click save and then I think we're ready for the next step. The fourth way to attach records is using the source box. The obituary we just added to Margaret mentioned several other people in it. I'd like to attach it to each of her children. So let's go down to her children, click on sources, add source, attach from source box. And then all you got to do <laughs> is click on this and then do attach and then do that for the rest of the children. Anyways, thank you for watching.